No one said it's easy being a parent, especially a mother. They give a lot of themselves for their kids. One who has great insight is a champagne mom, former teacher, and blogger for House Talking, Carrie Rosso. Nice to see you. Hello, thank you for having me. Yeah, I'm so glad you're here. Uh, tell us, how did you get started with House Talking? Well, it was sort of a marriage of so many of the things that I love. Photography, I love old houses, and I think, I like all of, yep, I know that. And I think like all of us, houses have a story if you just ask and if you dig deep. So I love to hear those stories of that people have passed from owner to owner to owner. Yeah, it's funny. Uh, I was uh, at a lunch today and I was just bragging about you because we did that interview together and we talked about, I said, How, why would people just want to talk about houses? And before it was over, you had me talking yeah, about my house. On the couch. <laughs> yeah. And then 1972. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. It's wonderful. Yeah. So, and uh, how is all that going for you then? I love it. I love it. So we are really lucky that we live in a community that values older homes and maintaining those homes. I was telling you off air that we went to open houses this weekend, you know, so university, which is sort of the, my favorite strip of houses. And there were three open houses and just going through those and. I, I see, call it the oh. architectural corridor. Oh, well, they're beautiful. all so different from yes. each other and they all have great stories. And, you know, pack one of the houses that we looked at had painstakingly and lovingly restored one of those homes and so just walking through and hearing the agent tell us all the stories that that she knew and it was really fun well tell us uh, also you're involved in some other projects like you have a book out uh two one <laughs> two? Okay. Uh, the first was i just want to pee alone <laughs> And the follow-up is you have lipstick on your teeth. Oh, and okay. yeah, so we have, that was a, a fun run with those. And then some of my friends and I started the show, That's What She Said, at yes. Cranert Center. Tell us about that. So, well, we did it uh, last year to my two girlfriends and I sitting on the patio with our girls running around trying to think of something that we could do to shine a light on women's stories, something that we could do where we could work together and something that our girls would be proud of. And that's what she said was born. And the show was a big success and so much fun. And we're gonna do it again on July 19th. And this year the show is actually franchising. When the show ended, several people said, bring the show to us, can you bring your show? And none of us were in a position to travel. So other women are gonna do the show in their own town and recruit their own speakers and tell their own stories. Oh, it is so incredible. It's, it's very cool. exciting. Well now, it's, I've heard so many good things. Uh, is it just like for women? <laughs> we get that a lot. Okay. It, the speakers are all women and the founders are women, but there were several fellas in the audience last year and one man actually said that it made him understand his wife a little bit more, that he saw you know, it was such a great community event. Women going out to di dinner beforehand and then coming to the show and laughing and yucking it up and then hearing the stories from the stage. And he said he just looked around and thought, ah, now I get it, it's girls' night out. So, so it, was, it was perfect. Open house season's coming up. Got anything planned for that? Every Sunday, I'll be there. I'll be there. Well, as a real estate agent, you're probably used yep. to this, the, the looky-loos coming. But, yep. but open houses, they're just, they're a great community building thing. You know, at the houses on University the other day, so many of the people were neighbors and, you know, rooting for this house to sell and rooting for that one, you know, and wanted to see the, the remodels that people had done. You know, they're really invested because that will be their neighbor and that's their neighborhood and they're proud. Well, before we run out of time, tell us about your trip to Haiti. So that's what she said. We are going to have a That's What She Said Haiti. That's incredible. Twelve of us are going to Haiti in May, and we'll be working in an orphanage and sort of surveying the women there. We said, what? we all have the resources of Craner in our community, but what about the women who don't have those resources? Or, But we all have a story to tell, so we are packing it up and taking our microphones to Haiti. Wow, lots of luck with that. That's wonderful. House talking, blogging, Carrie Rosso, thanks for being with uh, us. Ah, thanks for having me.